P3 Project by Book of Select. Episode 3, Lightning Round. A Pegasus as blue as the sky as he called home, counted the number of clouds hovering over Ponyville at that very moment. 30 clouds, with 20 star turns between them. She could do it. She was sure of it. Maybe. The Pegasus steel herself. It pushed the maybe out of her mind. The Wonderbolt certainly didn't have times for ponies who hesitated in the face of challenge. And if there was one thing Rainbow Dash loved, it was proven that she was better than challenge. She put on her flight goggles and, with a cocky grin, took off in a streak of color. As each cloud was approached, Rainbow Dash stuck out the front hoof, grabbed a piece of every one she passed through, and added it to the trail. At no time did she look back to check her progress. At these speeds, doing that was a great way to separate one's head from one's shoulders. Eventually, she found herself on autopilot. This was a good sign. This meant she could handle it. The last cloud was reached. Finally! Now she could see if it really worked. All right! Her grin went from cocky to downright elated as she rose a hundred feet and saw that, indeed, it had. All the clouds around her were now connected by strands of steam and a beautiful web of light. Now for the easy part. She flew to the web center, possessing herself vertically, spun in place as fast as she could pulling in all of the clouds into a giant airborne twister which set everything as close to outer space as she could manage. When it was all over, the zone was clear. Success! Another morning, another sky free of clouds. Record time. Except for one. One, fortunately, was also needed for her last task of the day. Humming a tune to herself, she pushed it along towards the outskirts of Ponyville, where a mass of similar clouds had gathered over a meadow. A pony she had been waiting all morning to see currently was under that mass. A pony Rainbow Dash was more than happy to help, if it meant a strength and friendship. Or for that matter, a friendship in the first place. Truth be told, that pony was worrying her. And there! Alright, Twilight, here's the last cloud of cover you ordered. Rainbow Dash says he puts it into place again. A purple unicorn lying on the grass below raised her head, speaking idly. Oh, uh, thanks a lot, Rainbow Dash. I really appreciate it. Her head quickly went back to being buried in her book, with her horn acting as a reading light. Rainbow Dash watched, unimpressed as he hovered in front of the unicorn. You know, if you really need a light that badly, I could open up a hole in this sucker. She pointed out where one floors. Cause no cloud cake is a mess for rainbow death. Pony feels star weather pony. No thanks. If I use my horn for light, I'm free to move wherever I want. So I got up and moved a few feet to the side, rolled onto her back, and commanded her book to float above her head using unicorn magic. See? Toy so said, What well, smile that showed us how proud of herself she was right now. Check it out. It's free paint strength too. Grandma Daz had always said Never let them see you seize. For a Pegasus used to saying exactly what was on her mind, however, it was always tough advice for her grandmother to follow. She forced a smile of her own as she slowly followed further up. Right, right, right. Well, I'm going now. Got a perfect sky napping spot all picked out. Right under a sunbeam for that warm and toasty feeling. <laughs> this time, Twilight didn't even bother turning her head. Well, that's good. Take care. Same time tomorrow. Same time tomorrow. Rainbow Dash stopped. First completely dumbfounded, then completely incensed. Twilight... Twilight did not just get it! She didn't understand one bit. It was officially all Rainbow Dash could stand to watch. Going from 0 to 60 in a sonic second, she barreled through the cloud mass he had created, destroying it on the spot. Wah! That got Twilight's attention. She recoiled in a burst of sunlight, was flooded her eyes, and directly in the center of light, she could barely make out one angry winged pony. This is it, Sparkle! Enough is enough! What, what gives Rainbow Dash? asked Twilight, shielding her eyes. Enough is enough of what? Whoa! With not a word in response, Rainbow Dash darted down, grabbed Twilight by both hooves, and shot them off into the sky. Twilight could only shriek as the ground and let their hooves all too quickly. Soon, the sky was all they could either see in every direction. They were officially in Rainbow Dash's domain. 
twice sparkled new as well as any pony without wings. She did belong here. But as determined and annoying as Rainbow Dash looked right now, it didn't look like Yasuo was going to get any taller talk and said to her. They traveled for some time, until Rainbow Dash finally calmed down enough to talk again. Look, the first time you asked me to make with the overcast action, I thought you had some kind of super geeky unicorn planet in mind. But it's been a week now, and the only thing you do with my cloud cover is stay in your own little world, away from the rest of us! Um... Twilight was at first lost for words. Rainbow Dash, however, most certainly was not. And if you're not half covered by clouds over here, then you're cooped up in your library house! Rainbow huffed, looked across the horizon. Their flight path took them over a busy Ponyville. Rainbow Dash looked a bit lower. At this height, its inhabitants were more like ants than ponies. But they could still be seen milling about their day-to-day -day activities. And many of them did so while staying close together. Rainbow Dash rose again, her point made. Day in, day out, same two places, and I'll peep out of you. Today, you're getting a taste of scenery, and it kills me. Figures has said, as a large cloud structure approached them in the distance. It grew closer, and until the two settled and sat in front of the front steps of a literal castle in the sky. Made entirely out of clouds. Rainbow Dash's home. She dropped Twilight Sparkle gently on one of the surrounding clouds. Ta-da! Feast your eyes on Rainbow Dash's swinging stable. One slight of miles, he had. Maybe one day I'll let you in. It suddenly looked inviting, of an architecture straight out of classic history books. Rainbows crisscrossing through the windows and doors. Even a rainbow waterfall at the clouds' mass edge. Twilight carrying her neck to look up at the spires on top. Why not now? Rainbow Dash scoffed. <laughs> you ain't earned the right yet. When I don't have to pony nap you, then we'll talk. Right now, all you get to do is gaze and be amazed. Twilight walked around to the estate, doing so in spite of herself. The castle's build was sound and consistent all around. She put the side of the wall and found that the clouds making up this castle felt the same as they were pressing against stone. Moving further, she eventually found herself at the back, the centerpiece of which was a huge, glorious fountain. The wire spread shone beautifully as the sunlight glinted off. A rainbow arced over the device as well, keeping its scene consistent with the rest of the property. Giving in to her curiosity, Twilight rushed towards it. Found the fountain, I see! Isn't it killer? Rainbow Dash rushed to Twilight's side, and the two spirited into the sparkling fluid. It's fueled by thundercloud moisture, so it never runs out! The voice of the expression were light and happy now, a far cry from the wrath of earlier. It's... this is amazing, said Twilight. How did you end up with all this? Eh, this whole place is just something I did in my spare time. When you're as fast as me, putting a house together isn't the huge project it is for everybody else. Before this, though, he used to just live and sleep on whatever clouds I saw. Went where they took me. Ended up somewhere new wherever I woke up. Raymond Dash sighed wistfully. <sighs> Still do sometimes. Adds a fetch to life, you know. I noticed you're quite fond of that. Keeps me alive, sister. Speaking of wits, why don't you try it? Huh? I've always wanted to try my favorite game with you. Hopscots. Hopscots? That's why I stared. Isn't that a little pony's game? I... Not that I've ever played it even back then. But the slight grin was back. You ain't tried it Pegasus style. Come on! Whoa! Again, Twy found herself being dragged. Life of Rainbow Dance was going to be a constant battle to keep up, it seemed. Winged Pony led them to the edge of the castle. This was especially high up at the moment. Sometimes it could be seen from ground level. But today, ground level was very, very far away. Twilight Sparkle tried to check. It instantly became di mildly dizzy. First, she felt herself being pulled back away from the clouds' heads. Rainbow Dash chuckled, sighed, and shook her head. <laughs> you beast, always looking down. You realize, said Twilight, that I don't have wings, right? Not yet. Does Pigs and Styles Hopscotch require them? Require them? You get it? They're against the rules! Oh. So to play, all you gotta do is jump on any cloud you see, and try not to run out of them. That's it. That's it. You're serious about all this. Serious as a monsoon. You ready? No! In fact, I don't think I ever will be ready. Perfect, off you go! Whoa! There was something that was all kicked to Twilight's rear. She launched her friend off to castle, screaming all the way. Ah! Full. Poof. Until Twilight found herself making a two-point landing on a cloud. Huh? She pried it, 
Against all logic, it held her own weight. She looked around and saw more clouds passing by. When one came close enough, she took a right start, jumped, and landed. She did it again and again. Twice the mathematical mind went to work. Being so high up, she realized that this wasn't a bad way to travel around. Of course, getting up here would be forever would be a tricky part. As a fun cue, Rainbow Dash showed up on her own cloud a small distance away and called out, Well, we're linguists! You're a total natural at this! Awesome! Twilight bounded onto another cloud. This is really all it's supposed to do? Yep! You don't see how long you can hop on clouds passing by. First one to get stranded or misses a jump loses. And I never lose. The game went on, and the two bounded around. Something strange and unexpected didn't happen. Twilight Sparkle found herself laughing. Laughing in the sun, in the sky, fresh air all around. Restricted by cloud jumps, true. But at the same time, never having felt such freedom before. Rainbow Dash was laughing as well. Twilight Sparkle wondered what she was thinking. Maybe she was just happy to finally have a new friend who didn't mind joining her up here. Twilight normally would have questioned the methods used to do so. But right now, she was unable to argue with the results. Eventually, she landed on a cloud pretty far for the rest of the pack. Curses! She let her mind wander again. She got stranded. She lose! Then she saw it. Just a little ways below her. She spotted a dark gray cloud. A star cloud, most likely. In order to show us its sight, she went for it. If I threw it up, she heard Rainbow Dash cry out, No! Twilight! Wait! Huh? Completely through her jump, she fell through the cloud. Whoa! What the... Twilight screamed as she fell fast. Rainbow Dash saw it and acted bit even faster, going to her speediest dive. Hang on, girl! No one pancakes on my watch! Despite the Pegasus' words, it was nearly too late. The ground was rusting up fast. Twilight closed her eyes and braced for impact. It was as far lighter as I expected. She stopped screaming and opened her eyes to find herself being airlifted again. A Rainbow Dash's back. Oh, wow. Thanks so much, Dash. You remember when we first met, right? Wasn't that long ago. I told you back then. I never leave my friends hanging. Twilight gasped against her breath. This, for the Pegasus who rubbed me into a game where having wings keeps you from going splat and something goes wrong? You were never in any danger with me around Twilight. But if you knew that, it'd only be half the thrill. I saw you laughing up there. Not only is Pegasus Hotshot's good for air training, it's a whole lot of fun. That's why I wanted to see you have for once. Glad I could. Twice Sparkle Moon, before finally conceding the point and changing the subject. All right, you win. In more ways than one, but why didn't that last cloud hold me? Storm clouds are weird. You'll need more skill to handle those. This is your only first time in the sky. Twilight nodded in understanding. He replied with, Well, I hope it isn't the last. A warm triumphant smile appeared on Rainbow Dazzle's face. That's up to you, Twilight. You call me, and we'll hang out any time. Definitely prefer being your chauffeur to drag you around against your will. <laughs> Sorry about that, Aim, by the way. It's alright. It appears I need it. The two settled on a nearby safe cloud again, and Twilight sighed. <sighs> Back at Carolot, there really wasn't anyone aside from Spike, Princess Alicia, Cadence, and Shining Armor who I felt close to. But here, it's different. Staying friends with all of you is something I really want to do. But I'm not used to being social. I never tried. So I don't know how, and, well... I never could find a bug to give me the answers on this sort of thing. Just then, she noticed Rainbow Dash was laughing. Only her back, laughing no less. The nerve! Here she was, pouring her heart out and... Maybe Twilight was wrong about her, after all. What exactly is so funny? A book? <laughs> Seriously, Sparkle? She calmed down. Voice of words becoming less derisive and more encouraging. You don't learn this kind of thing by reading. You learn by doing. And I'm going to do everything I can to make sure you're not a stranger. Look, if you're really having trouble with this whole friendship thing, then just friend is on me. Take it one pony at a time. Rainbow Dash took Twilight's hose in hers. Whatever you've got, I can take it. And if it means I get to see more of you, well, I'll do anything. As you already seen. She had, just before the two shared a mutual blush. 
We can. Twice struggled to remember the word Rainbow Dash always used. Hang? Anytime? 24-7. So she was like up here at night. The pigs just said, her voice growing eager. Ooh, or even during a thunderstorm. The clouds are dangerously awesome during those, and only I can get you in there. Twice turned a bit. Why would I want to go into the middle of a thunderstorm? Fantastic light shows, duh! Rainbow Dash says she jumped backwards off the cloud and used her wings to hover in midair. Never once taking her eyes off her new best friend. Stick with me, Twilight, and you'll be right before you know it. Deal? In response, Twilight jumped off the cloud as well. Rainbow Dash panicked for a moment until so she found a tap on her shoulder from behind. She turned around, saw Twilight hover it, hanging next to her by way of her glowing horn. Deal. <laughs> More like adventure. Twilight sparkled still with a wink. Satisfied smile from Rainbow Dash was the last thing Twilight Sparkle saw before the pigs had zoomed off, leaving a trail of color before her. The words, Now you're getting the hang of it! echoed through the skies. As Twilight Sparkle slowly lowered herself to terra firma, she made a promise to herself to finally take her assigned studies on friendship seriously. After all, the magic of the four in her was clearly intense. Self-powered high-altitude covering had been impossible for her. Until about five minutes ago.